Welcome to the FBTV feature game. I'm Darren Lutton. We're at AJ Kelly Park for the Trophy Superstore Premier League game between Peninsula Power and Eastern Suburbs. With me today, I've got Nan, Sandy and Marianne. Who's going to win today, ladies? Power! This game will be all important with the positions in the top four. Let's get straight to the action. Calling the game is Rafe Griffin. Thanks, Darren, and I'll keep quiet to your wife about the lovely ladies you've been hanging out with today. Round 15 Trophy Superstore Premier League action, probably one of the most notable things on the Peninsula Power Team sheet since we've last seen them on FBTV. Their star striker and leading goal scorer, Ali Graham, has returned to Scotland for trials, and it is Peninsula Power who has opening possession of the match. Corner played in, on for the back post, headed away there. Shot comes in from long range by McNichol. I think he's almost collected the cyclist there on George Street. One there by Barnett for Reese. Kai. Well, oh, ineffective shot there. And Reesby makes the easy save. Stenhouse making a run through the middle of the park. Looks for Kai. David Kai inside the box. Better effort this time. But Reesby's feet get in the way. Let's take another look at that. David Kai takes the shot on goal. Reesby able to manoeuvre his body well. Played forward by Herford. Lewandowski now on the ball. Plenty of blue shirts around him. Back for Herford. Herford decides to take his own chance. Straight to Reesby. McNichol. Gets around a few black shirts, plays the ball through. Claims of a free kick and not given by the referee. See if we can pick that up on the replay. Challenge comes in. Yes, perhaps the foot was collected. McNichol. Stenhouse with the defending work. Plays it on for Furigal. Crossfield now for Ahern. Even further crossfield for Puckett. And Tom Carroll makes the save. Down the left wing now, Easts. Kai. David Kai. And straight to Reesby again. Ahern with the ball on. Ball sliding challenge comes in there. And Peninsula Power are going to have a free kick. Let's see that again. Oh yes, definitely collected the feet there. Clumsy challenge. The referee doesn't appear to be taking any action on this occasion, Matt Skinner. Hurling over the free kick. Puts it straight into the wall actually. It's hurling with the throw in. McNichol comes out to the left. Dinking cross played in, the header on for Mitch Buman. And Peninsula have the first goal shortly before the hour. Let's take another look at that. Left foot, high cross. Mitch Buman able to get to the ball before the East defender. And Peninsula have a 1-0 lead in this critical match between these top four sides. Stenhouse over this free kick. Can he boom it in like he normally does? Lex just to play it just inside the box. And Reesby again makes the save. Kai turns it in for Stenhouse. Stenhouse now on for Herford. Herford plays the ball on for Abbey. Abbey just hemmed in there. Menaces to find a way there through for Okuno. Herford. Plays the ball through the channel for Harrigan. He sends his shot to Reesby. Stenhouse. Now it's David Kai. Can he conjure something up this time? Puts it on there for Akuno, And Reesby makes the save. Let's take another look.
Mackay, clever little ball there through Kuno. And Reesby awake to the situation. Barnett. On for Boyd. Can they clear it here? Peninsula, no they can't. Harrigan. Castledine tries to put the tackle in. And eventually does. And it'll be an east corner. Puck it. Down this right wing. Target was Furigal. He now picks it up. Furigal! Tried to put it onto near post. Barnett, the throw. Stenhouse. On for Boyd. Boyd with the long range efforts. Peninsula, possession critical for them. East could have had an opportunity there, but the referee blows his whistle. Peninsula retains second spot on the table. 1-0 winners over East. Uh, I thought it was a hard-fought contest. Two good sides, both teams not wanting to drop points and uh, pick up the three points today was crucial for us and same for them. But uh, I thought it was a really good game and two good teams that uh, worked hard for 90 minutes. Uh, not really. I don't really think you need to have too many shots on goals. It's the one-on goals that go in the back of the net that count. So if you uh, get too wrapped up in stats and things like that, then you're, uh, you'll probably get your head out of the game. So if we come away with more goals than the other team, we win. So that's all we really care about. Oh, we, we hold out everything. We're, uh, we're winners in, in that change room. You know, We, we don't want to lose any game. So we'll uh, try and chase them down. They're proving that they're the best team in the competition and that everyone has to try and catch them. Sam's done a great, da uh, great job down there with, with a good team. You know, The core of the team has been there for a long time and they do, uh, do what they do well and it makes it hard when you play against them. And uh, We're looking forward to playing against them in the last game of the season and we're uh, looking at the club championship, which is a big thing for us to uh, try and win and we're not too far behind them. So if it comes down to that last day, we'll be ready for them. I thought it was pretty tough Tough competition, um, pretty even. I thought maybe, you know, a draw might have been a, a fair result. Um, we just can't seem to find a goal at the moment. Um, I think we had a few good opportunities in the first half. We had a, a good one-on-one -on -one that we didn't quite take as well as we should have. Um, it was a very, very tight game. Please? I, I think the, the biggest concern I have at the moment is just trying to get our, our game together again. You know, we're working very hard and at times we're playing some really good football, but we just can't seem to find... Uh, results at the, in the final third. So I think I'll, I'll just worry about our, our team at the moment and not be looking over my shoulder too much. Okay, the game. Yeah, well, we've got good players. Uh, they're coming back from injuries and, you know, we've had Matty Heath out for about six, seven weeks, so he's only coming back again now. Uh, and he'll bring us, give us a little bit more coming off the bench until he gets his fitness. So we've got good options off the bench. Uh, sometimes, you know, you give the younger players an opportunity to start and it's a bit of a, a, a tough thing for them. So to give them the last 20 or so, they're getting a bit of a taste of the competition and their impact's better. But we've got some good young players coming through and some players coming back from injury. So yeah, the, the substitutions you know, had a bit of a, an input into the game, but unfortunately not enough.